invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash, with Alan Reed as the quality. ago, when Luigi Vasco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventures. So now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Vasco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, America is a land with a very high standard of a living. Everybody is saving the money so he can buy a refrigerator, a washing machine, a dishwasher, and a vacuum cleaner. Seems like everybody here has got these things. People who can afford, they buy. People who can afford, they go on a quiz program. <laughs> Another big American thing. Everybody has got a car. They got all kinds of here. There's the sedans, the trailers, the trucks. And America's are so rich that they even got a car for chickens. That's called the coop. <laughs> a car is a wonderful thing. Do you remember, Mama, me in the old country during the war? How American boy is it taking me for driving is a car? Well, it wasn't exactly a car. It was something like a cement mixer. <laughs> and he's a call of a jeep. <laughs> Mama, me, how that car is a shake. Remember once how we go for a ride? Me and Uncle Pietro and his goat. And when we come back, I'm losing my watch. <laughs> Uncle Pietro is losing his teeth. <laughs> and the goat is refused to give a milk for three days. <laughs> Since that time, I'm always the one to own my own car. And after one year, I'm going to save $100. And now I'm going to make my dream come true. Of course, with a hundred dollars, I'm not going to afford the new 1949 car. I'm going to have to be satisfied with a 48. <laughs> but right now is the time for my night school class, so I'm going to go and ask my teacher, Miss Paulding, for advice about the buying a car. <laughs> class. All right, let's come to attention. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Present. Mr. Howitt? Present. Mr. Olson? Present. Mr. Schultz? Absent. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, you're present. Why do you say absent? I just want to create a sensation. <laughs> oh, thank you, fellow boobers. Thank you. All right, Mr. Oh, Schultz, sorry. you can stop bowing. Now, class, our lesson... Oh, yes, Mr. Basco, what is it? Well, I'm exploring... Today is a big day in my life. And I'm like so much if the classes are helping me. Oh, certainly, Mr. Basco. What is it? Well, today I'm going to buy my own car. A car? And oh, no, it is a big shot. A big shot is an explosion. Class, <laughs> please. Mr. Basco, why don't you wait until after the bell? I'm sure one of your classmates can help you in the selection of a car. Now, class, our lesson for today is spelling. And we are going to study words which contain letters that we don't pronounce. Now, Mr. Basco, will you volunteer to spell the word knife? Knife. K-N-I-F. The E is a silent. <laughs> Not exactly. Mr. Schultz, will you try? I try, but I don't give a guarantee. <laughs> knife. A B. Just a moment, Mr. Schultz. <laughs> there is no B in knife. This is a Boy Scout knife. <laughs> Class, I will spell the word. K-N-I-F-E. K-N-I-F-E. That's Kniffy. <laughs> no, the word is nice. K is the silent letter. K is always silent in front of N. Is that so? What about Knockbrook? <laughs> Please. Now, will someone in the class give us an example of another word with a silent letter? Oh, yes, Mr. Olson? Yeah. <clears throat> in the sentence, I gnash my teeth. Nash is spelled G-N-A-S-H, and the E is silent preceding the N. <laughs> oh, what a show-off. If I was so smart, I'd shoot myself. 
Please, Mr. Schultz. Please, that was excellent, Mr. Olson. Sure. Excuse me, Miss Pauling. I'm always annoyed that the Nash has a silent motor, but uh, this is silent the G is in the 49 model of two. <laughs> now, that's the kind of fella I like. That's a dumbbell. <laughs> No, no, Mr. Basco. I can see you can't get your mind off cars. Uh, can anyone here tell Mr. Basco where to get a car? Luigi. Uh, how about Louis the Lunatic? That's right, Luigi. You go right down to Automobile Row on Dearborn Street. Dearborn Street? Yeah, yeah, but you've got to be careful with these dealers, you know. They are all sharpshooters. On account of them, my brother Ludwig got the best buy in his life. In three years, he's never had a flat, never had to change a spark plug, never uses any oil, no trouble at all. What did he buy? A horse and wagon. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, I'm getting a little tired of your... Oh, oh that's right. <laughs> oh, sometimes they act like a lot of little school children. To not work. <laughs> Excuse me, mister. I'm like to buy a car here. Yes, sir. You've picked the right lot. I got just what you want. 2300, 2700, 3500, anything you like, drive it right out. How much do you want to spend? $100. Uh. <laughs> well, come on over here around the back. We might find something for you. All right. Ah, now there we are. Here is a fine selection of cars around the $100 class. Ah, uh, nice, eh? It looks just like a museum. <laughs> Well, now, let's see. This, what kind of a car do you have in mind? How, how about a convertible, eh? Do you like to drive with the top down? No, I'm always a wear a hat. Uh, well, uh, how about this car here? Do you like it? It's an old. No, that's a too old. <laughs> hey, mister, did you ever drive a car before? Well, a long time ago in the older country. Oh, I... You see, see I'm not too long from Italy. I see. Well, now, buddy, I got just the car for you. <laughs> yes, sir, here it is, a stut. Hardly been used in the last 32 years. <laughs> well, look at the dashboard. Only 5,000 miles. And I'm the original guy who pushed back the speedometer. <laughs> it's a good, huh? Oh, it's sensational. Not like any ordinary car, you know. This car is different. No windshield, no bumpers, no radio, no heater, no spare tire, no fuel pump, no radiator. Just a good, honest set of used parts. Uh -huh. <laughs> now... I'm not so sure that you've got the money. If you've got it, put up or shut up. That's the American way. Well, sure, sure. I got the money here. Well, that's the ticket. One hundred old dollar bills. We've been waiting for you. Here's the bill of sale. Sign right here. You got a driver's license? No, but I can drive. Okay, then drive right down to City Hall. Get a learner's permit. Hop in. That's right. We stand behind every car we sell. Only way we can push them off the lot. Get set. Goodbye. All right. Mamma mia, I'm going to fight. Three, four to five of miles an hour. <laughs> Take a look. What do you think? What's happened to Luigi? You got a job in the circus? <laughs> what are you talking about, Pasquale? I'm not just to buy myself a car. What does it look like? How many guesses do you give me? Are uh, you just to say that because I didn't need any help from you? No help from me, eh? Hey, Luigi, why are you putting those two blocks under the front wheel? That's an intervention emergency, Brick. <laughs> Pasquale, I know it's not the best car, but at least it's all the mine. Now I can drive down the street and everybody's to say, Look, Luigi, 
He's a look like a real American. Yeah, and this is a car you look like a real American. A Buffalo Bill. <laughs> uh, tell me something, Luigi. You got auto insurance? Auto insurance? What's that? Well, it's like a life insurance. Oh. Only you don't get a pay until the car dies. <laughs> Looking under your car, I'm thinking somebody's already collected. <laughs> then, I, then I'm an under the insurance. Oh, but there's insurance you've got to have that's much more important. That's for accidents. There's a single indemnity, that's if you hit a one person. Then there's a double indemnity, that's if you hit a twin. <laughs> but Pasquale, I'm not going to hit anybody. What are you talking about? You've got a car? Use it. <laughs> But, Pasquale, I'm just spend all of my money on my car. I'm not going to afford this insurance. Oh, Luigi, that's so bad. Bad? Terrible. Tell me, little man, you got an operator's license? But, Pasquale, what for? I'm going to need operator license. I'm not going to work for the phone company. <laughs> I can show how stupid you are. Operator license is a mean when you hit somebody, you got a license to operate on them right away. <laughs> And you ain't got that either. Oh, Pasquale, all I'm got is a learner's permit and a book of rules to study. What am I going to do? I should never have bought a car without asking you advice first. Now, that's the first, the smartest thing I've heard since we started talking. <laughs> Luigi, when I'm going to see you look so sad, my heart is a mess like a promise and a cheese and a hot of spaghetti. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do for you? What the Pasquale? I'm going to pay for you auto insurance. I'm going to see to it you get your operator license, your driver license, oh. and instead of this old jalopy, I'm going to buy you a brand new car. Pasquale, you're going to do all of this for me. But why? Because I'm in love with you, you little pumpkin head. <laughs> with eyes are like a two pumpkin seeds and a nose are haggardy like a banana. <laughs> oh, stop it, Pasquale. You're making me blush in the street. And now that I'm going to do you a little favor, maybe you do me a little favor. <laughs> favor? What the favor you want I should do for you? Well, uh, while are you down at City Hall uh, getting your driver's a license and your operator's a license, maybe you go to the next window and get a one or more license. Well, uh, sure, Pasquale. What the kind of license you want I should get? Marriage license for my daughter, Rosa. <laughs> No, Pasquale, I'm not going to marry Rosa. She's a too fat for me. Luigi, it's a no fair to call a girl a fat just because she's happened to weigh 240 pounds. 250. <laughs> what do you say? I say 250. I say 240. She's a no have a supper yet. <laughs> hey, Luigi, do me a favor. Just to marry Rosa for a little while. You'd be surprised to have my little flower she's going to grow out of you. Pasquale, I'm a no flower pastor. <laughs> you big stupid and now I'm going to tell you something they're never going to give you a driver license with that old wreck you bought no? no you're lucky if you stay out of jail jail? sure when you start driving through the streets like a crazy man chasing the people down the cellars and up the roofs and running for their lives you know what it's going to say in a newspaper headline? what? Chicago's a hit to buy a new Adam bomb <laughs> Mamma mia, I'm just start out to buy a car and now I'm lucky if America doesn't declare a war on me. And now for the second act of Luigi Basco's adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. So, Mamma Mia, although I'm realizing my big ambition to own a car like a real American, I'm afraid it's going to bring me a lot of trouble. Pasquale is to say my car is a look so terrible, I'm never going to get driver's license, so I'm going to try to fix it up. I'm a shine up with the car nice and a clean with the two cans of his shoe polish. <laughs> also, I'm a put a wallpaper on the inside. <laughs> and to make the car look more expensive, I'm a paint a spare tire on the back. <laughs> but still, I'm a having a lot of trouble with a car. Three times a day, the street cleaning department has tried to take it away. <laughs> 
biggest trouble I'm having is a reading the ruler book and trying to learn the traffic of rules for my driving at test. Mamma mia, what's the rule? Put a hand out the for left to turn, a hand out the for right to turn, a hand out the for a stop, a hand out the for a go. Mamma mia, this is a book must be for a man with a four hand. <laughs> so I'm sitting here studying when it suddenly has opened up my door. Luigi, my friend, I was just passing by and I had to stop in. I just saw your car outside and I congratulate you on making such a wonderful deal. Oh, thank you, sure. <laughs> How much did the man pay you for taking it off his lot? <laughs> Schultz, please, I'm paying a man $100 for this car. $100? Schultz, do you think I was a stuck? Stuck? Luigi, you was harpooned. <laughs> With a car like that, I got only one piece of advice for you. What's that? Keep moving, because if you ever stop, people will think you are in an accident. <laughs> well, I got to go now. Goodbye, Luigi. Oh, goodbye, sir. Oh, Luigi, sheer up. Smile. Nothing in this world is worth crying about. For the shorts, I've spent my life down on a bad car, and I've got to go today for a drive and a test. I'm not going to understand the rules, and all that's left for me is to marry Pasquale's daughter, Rossi. If you was in my place, what would you do? Himmel, would I let out a scream? <laughs> well, Luigi, I really got to go now. Now, come on, Luigi, be like me, always happy. Smile, smile. <laughs> my rheumatism is killing me. <laughs> Mamma me, another hour I gotta take my driving a test. Well, I better look in this traffic ruler book and study some more rules. To make a left hand turn, turn into the lane to the right of the center, turning into the roadway. <laughs> but to do not turn. <laughs> Mamma me, I'm a think I'm a gotta lost at the last to turn. <laughs> well, I read it some more. To make a left into Hello, Luigi, my little friend and my countryman. What's the new with you? Huh? Well, Squally, are you mad at me no more? Me? I'm mad at you? Why, Luigi, shame on you. You should have known me better than that. You know, there's a two sides to my face. If one side is a mad out of you, the other side is a glad out of you. You know that. <laughs> You're so right, Pasquale. That's why everybody is calling you two-faced. <laughs> a funny thing, and when I'm a say it, it's a come out of different. <laughs> hey, Luigi, what's that the pamphlet you're reading? Well, Pasquale, I gotta go for drive as a test in an hour, and I'm studying the rules so I should have passed. Luigi, I'm gonna help you out. Nobody's gonna know more about a drive as a test than me. I'm gonna take it a ten times. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe you can tell me, Pasquale, all through this book is this word. Vecca. V E H I C L E. Ooh, Luigi, you lucky you got me to explain to you. That's a vehicle. That's a mean a car, what's a drunk. That's, a, that's a what they call a auto intoxication. See, the lots I can teach you. Now, see, you drive in a car, you hit a man inside his home. What's this called? What? Home in the side. <laughs> big punishment is a go for that. Very big. They stamp on your license. You must wear glasses. <laughs> oh, Pasquale, thank you. Maybe now I have a chance to pass. Tell me, what do you mean by zone? That's a simple. Driving a car is like a game. It's a three kind of zones. T-zone... Free zone and an end zone. <laughs> if you hit a man in the T zone, he's not going to smoke no more. <laughs> and if you hit him in the end zone, they push your car back to five yards. <laughs> What's the free zone? That's the meaning you can park for nothing. <laughs> Now, take the traffic lights. Is the green light that's for go? Is the red light that's for stop? What's the yellow light for? That's for women to drive. They can do whatever they want. (laughs) 
Oh, Pasquale, thanks so much for your help. Don't mention it. Luigi, you just give me these answers like I'm going to tell you, and you're going to be fixed up for good. <laughs> Applicant. Pardon me, mister. You've been waiting here for two hours. What are you waiting for? Well, you've been calling for people who's a want the applicant. I'm waiting till you call the people who's a want the driver's license. Oh, I see. Well, take your learned permit to booth seven over there, and the inspector will give you your test. Thank you very much. Booth the seven. Oh, there it is. Mamma mia, how am I going to drive my car in that little boat? <laughs> oh, excuse me, mister. Uh, have a seat. Uh, you got your car outside? Yes. All right, now I'll ask you a few routine questions. First, uh, explain your hand signal. Sure. To make a signal, you got to stick out to your left hand. First, you got to let the window down. <laughs> left hand is to single right to turn, left to turn, and a pass. That's the width of the palm down. The palm down? When do you stick your hand out with the palm up? Only when you want to see if it's raining. <laughs> Are you sure you can drive a car? Sure, I'm sure. Well, let's go on outside for the road test. All right. Oh, there. There's my car over there. Is that your car? Uh-huh. I think we have a law covering that. <laughs> Let me look in my book under the seas. Condemned. <laughs> hmm. They must have overlooked this motto. Well, let's get in. Uh, does this car always sag like this? Oh, no. Only when a people is a sit in it. <laughs> okay, start it up. Choke it, choke it. Choke it to where am I going to grab it? <laughs> you pull the choke out there. Oh. All right, it's out. Now, where should I put it? <laughs> oh, brother. Step on the gas. The cars are gone. You see it to what? If it's too windy for you, I'm stopping to put in the windshield. <laughs> Never mind. This is like going through D-Day again. <laughs> yeah, all right, there's a sign. It says no U-turn. What does that mean? Well, that's the simple. It says no U-turn. That's to mean it's my turn. <laughs> look. Look, there's a stop sign. You want I should have stopped? I dare you. <laughs> of course, stop. Stop right on the corner of First Street. All right. I said First Street, not Second Street. <laughs> well, I was a close. <laughs> Isn't that so good, huh? Well, watch me on a signal. Hey, didn't you see that car behind you? Where's your rear vision mirror? What the fuck? I need the rear mirror. If I'm going to want to see who's behind me, I'm going to look back like a thing. Hey, look out! Look out! Mamma mia, the car is a stop, but the inspector is to keep on a going. <laughs> All right, Mr. Basco, the test is over. You ride back, I'll walk. <laughs> but the why? I'd be happy to drive you back into my car. What are you, a sadist? <laughs> it's a nice day, the sun is shining, I got a wife and four kids. I'll walk. Well, all right, so you walk. I'm a driver. When you get there, wait for me. <laughs> Too bad, and he was doing so well. <laughs> Luigi, my friend, I know Lu. Luigi, what are you doing with that steering wheel in your hand? Pasquale, 
I'm a just the type of my driver's test. Luigi, look at you. Hair was all a mussed up, the clothes are dirty and a torn, a face all a banged up, you walking with a limp. You don't look like a driver, you look like a pedestrian. <laughs> What's to happen? It's all a mixed up. All I know is that when I was driving back to the license of you and myself, a car is a come after me. I'm a signal for a stop. I'm a put out the boat in my hands, but it's a big crash. Oh, Luigi. It is all my fault. I put my left hand out of the left window, but to my right hand, it wasn't long enough to reach the other window. Peter, you get your driver's license. But, well, not only am I not to get my license, but they take away my learner's permit. They say I'm a no can drive for at least the one a year. And I'm not allowed to walk in the streets for two days. <laughs> Luigi, Luigi, how could a one man get himself into so much trouble? Believe me, Pasquale, it's not easy. <laughs> what am I going to do? man who's caught on my head is to say he's going to sue me for everything I'm got. Worse than that, Luigi. Man has probably got a 20 years of life in insurance. That means he can get you 20 years of the life. <laughs> Mama mia, Pasquale, save me, please. Luigi, don't beg. I'm going to help you out of everything. I'm even going to buy you a new car so you still can be proud like an American. Just to do me one a favor. All right, Pasquale. I'll marry your daughter. Well, say it like you mean it. Go ahead. She's awake. Now call her yourself. All right. Rosa. <laughs> Rosa. Put it some feeling in it. Rosa. Yes, my little angel, you lovers are calling you himself. Rosa, say hello to Luigi. Oh. Hello, Luigi. Hello, Rosa. Rosa, poor little Luigi was just in a terrible auto accident. What do you say to him? <laughs> Luigi, you want a band-aid? Oh, shut up your face! <laughs> Well, my children, I'm going to give you my blessing, and we're going to tell everybody... Oh, Mr. Basso, I'm so glad I found you in. Mama mia, that's the man who's a car I'm a hit. I'm going to fix everything, mister. Oh, are you his attorney? Well, look, I admit everything. It was all my fault. I'm, I'm willing to make amends. But uh, I had no right to be driving that car. I had no driver's license, no permit, nothing. But, uh, This has taught me a terrible lesson. Mr. Basco, I'm prepared to pay for my mistake. If you promise not to press suit... I'm not to press suit. Oh, Oh, thank you. I'm always a Senator Taylor. <laughs> but no. now, Mr. Basco, let's settle this whole thing right here. I'm willing to pay you whatever that car is worth, say, uh, uh, $500. Oh, uh, no. $1,000? No, no, no. Okay, you've got me against the wall. How much do you want for the car? $100. What? <laughs> $100? Well, here, take it, and thank you very much. Wait, another so fast. This is something else. What's the matter? Were you hurt? I got a hole in my pension from the accident. It's going to cost you 40 cents for the patch. <laughs> Here and thank you. And good night. But, uh, well, the Pasquale, thank you for teaching me about the traffic rule. You're a sister. But, uh, Luigi, what a fall you sticking out of your hand now? I'm making a right to turn the back to my store. But what about a rose? A butt to Luigi? Good to buy a butt. <laughs> Be sure to listen next week at this time over most of these stations when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his mama Basco describing his adventures in America. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production that is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Demon and directed by Mac Benoff. J. Carol Nash has starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as the Swallow. Bob Conry the Schultz and Mary Ship as Miss Spalding. Music is under the direction of Lynn Murray. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>